Good afternoon. Hello, my lovely students. Welcome to the Bariyan School Virtual Learning Classes. Our story is Bruno's new home. So the new story is Bruno's new home. So the main character here is Bruno. Look at the picture. When you look at the picture, you're gonna know that Bruno is a bear. So we're going to read a story about Bruno. The genre of the story is fantasy. What's the meaning of fantasy? The fantasy story is a made-up story that uh, has imaginary character or events, but it cannot happen in the real life. It's a made-up story, but it cannot happen in the real life. Why? Because it has imaginary characters or events, like talking animals, like uh, superheroes. Okay. What's the meaning of characters? The characters of the story are the people and animals in the story. The setting of the story is the place and the time. So let's start to take the vocabulary. The new vocabulary words, you should open your reading book, page number 20 and 21 to find the vocabulary. The first word here is discovery. Discovery means finding out or learn. Discovery means finding out or learn. Now you should put a sticky note above the word and write the meaning. Discovery means finding out or learn. Let's read the sentence. Matt and June made a fun discovery at the beach. The second word here is a kid. What's the meaning of a kid? A kid means feel physical pain. A kid means feel physical pain. Write it in your book and let's read the sentence. My head a kid and hurt when I had a bad cold. My head a kid and hurt when I had a bad cold. The third word is concentrate. So I want you to concentrate on the vocabulary words. Concentrate means to direct one's attention on something. Let's read the sentence from your book. Tom can concentrate in the quiet library. Educated, educated means having knowledge. Educated means having knowledge. Improved means get better. Improved means get better. Let's read the sentence from your book. Improved Sam soccer skills improved with practice. Inspired to encourage a person to do something good. Inspired to encourage a person to do something good. For example, my parents inspired me to become a teacher. Effort, effort means working hard or use of physical or mental energy. Let's read the word from your book. Learning to sky takes lots of hard work and effort. Satisfied, satisfied means to be pleased with the way something happened. Satisfied means to be pleased or happy with the way something happened. Like, I'm happy and satisfied with the good job I did. So now open page number 20 and 21. If you didn't open it yet, open it now. So here we have the word acid. What's the meaning of acid? Feel physical pain. Let's write the meaning. Feel physical pain. Concentrate, direct one's attention on something. Direct one's attention on something. Discovery, discovery means finding out or learn. Just a second. So again, what's the meaning of discovery? Finding out or learn. Educated means having knowledge, having Knowledge. 
So let's read the sentences. A kid like my kid, a kid and hurt when I had a bad cold. Concentrate, Tom can concentrate in the quiet library. Discovery, Matt and June made a fun discovery at the beach. Educated, Jan went to school to be educated. Page number 21. Effort means working hard or use of physical or mental energy. Let's write the meaning. Effort means working hard or use of physical or mental thing. Improved means to get better. So let's write improved means to get better. Like we have to improve our reading skills. We have to improve our writing skills. We have to improve our maybe soccer skills. Inspired means to, to encourage someone to do something good. To do something good. Satisfied to be pleased of the way of something happened. To be pleased with the way something happened. Be pleased of the way something happened. So your homework is to write the new vocabulary words and their meaning and put them in sentences in your copy book. Okay. So now let's talk about synonyms. What's the meaning of synonyms? Synonyms means two words with the same meaning. We have synonyms and antonyms. What's the meaning of synonyms? Two words with the same meaning. Antonyms, two words with opposite meaning. So let's start. The synonyms are words that have the same meaning like children and kids, present and gift, like... Um, for example, start and begin, choose and select, drop and fall, finish and end. They are two words, but they have the same meaning. They have different spelling, different pronunciation, but the same meaning, like hard and difficult, like good and dual, idea and thought, like noisy and loud, pretty and beautiful, sad and unhappy, quiet and silent, tired and sleepy, present and give. So it's the same if I say silent or quiet. If I say I'm sad or I'm unhappy, oh, your this is beautiful or your hair is pretty, that they have the same meaning. For example, I got many presents for my birthday or I got many gifts. So both the words have the same meaning. This is the meaning of synonyms. The synonyms are two words with the same meaning, tiny and small, stinky, smelly. What's the meaning of antonyms? The antonyms, two words with opposite meanings like short and long, like old and new. So the antonyms and synonyms are two words, but the synonyms have the same meaning. The antonyms have different meanings. Now, get your turn in practice book and let's solve the vocabulary. What can you become if you study often? We or I will become educated. What's another word for hurt? A kid. <coughs> Here, educated. What's another word for hurt? A kid. What word might describe someone who's pleased after a meal satisfied? So let's write satisfied. That is fine. What's another word for hard work? Effort. 
If someone caused others to take action, what do they do? We call it inspire to encourage someone to do something. What word means the same thing as finding for the first time? Discovery. If you want to carefully study for a test, what do you need to do? We need to concentrate. If we have a test, we need to concentrate and put our attention on the test. So let's write concentrate. What's another word for gut bitter? Improved. Then you have to put them in sentences. For example, educated, I'm an educated person, a kid, my tooth a me or my eyes a me because of using the phone or because I watch TV for a long time. Satisfied, I'm satisfied um, with my meal or with my teacher. Effort, I... Uh, uh, um, or we can say, for example, you will not get anything without effort. Inspired, my mom inspired me to read many stories, discovery. Um, for example, I made a new discovery in the math, maybe. Concentrate, you should concentrate in your English session. Improved, I need to improve my soccer skills or whatever. So here, we didn't solve this page yet. So when we solve it, we're going to record it together, okay? Or I will record it after the session. So goodbye.